Good, good morning. This is Tracy Bowman from Bowman for Art, and I have been getting a lot of play on this painting, and it really came out lovely. This is the dry results, and uh, I'm quite happy with it, and so are a lot of other people. So uh, I've been asked to kind of recreate it because more than one want to buy it. So I'm gonna make a new one, try to recreate magic. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> and uh, you can watch the process. So let me get you down. Here is my um, my canvas. And we will get the paint on it. I'm going to start from the beginning. So it'll take a little bit of a process. I hope you're patient and watch. Um, I do like to make sure that all my edges are covered. Uh, I do not like to touch them up after. I want everything to flow organically. So we're gonna cover it up good, spin it out. I put a little on with my fingers. People ask, how do you keep the painting on the spinner when you're spinning it? The key is paint. When you're using enough paint, it has a stick to to it, so it helps to keep everything in place. So let me spin it and see how it goes. It covered very well. I'm happy. So I am doing flowers and I don't want those flowers to go far. So I'm really going to spin this out because <clears throat> I want my, my flowers to stay on my canvas. So I spin it out really hard. Checking my consistencies as that's spinning, which I'm looking pretty good. We like our paint to be, so this one's a little thicker. I don't want it to go too far, so I am going to leave it on a little bit on the thicker side. So um, I want it to stay in the center. So we're going to start, so there's my center. So I'm gonna put one here and one here. Now these canvases are interesting because you put your flowers too far on this, they, they really go too far because of the, the force in which they spin. So um, doing it in the center works out really nicely. So my flowers, I mean my leaves, All right, and I do like to have some extra color in my leaves. I feel like leaves aren't just one color. And I think it would be fun to add a little gold in some today. This is 24 karat gold by Deco Art. It's a great color. It's a great, great color. All right, and I will use a double cell activator. I think I did it in the last painting, so let's keep that theme going. 
This is Yellowish Green by Amsterdam and Floetrol, Australian Floetrol, excuse me. Um, it is worth every penny. <clears throat> it really makes all the difference. And I only use Amsterdam paint in my cell activator. Double cell activator. A mini leaf blower, and here we go. I'm going to start right here. Let's see. We gotta go here. And here. Okay, I'm gonna do a little puff here in these darker spots. Sorry if you're looking at the back of my head. Now, if your flowers seem to have gotten misshapen, don't worry about that at all. Don't even fret. I'm just gonna put a touch of gold in the center. A little metallic, be nice. All right, now I have this Tuscan Red by Deco Art Americana. <clears throat> really great true red color. I'm trying to cover that yellow. great okay and we'll put a bit of this um, paint it's called bling it and it's by color art um, primary elements it is great this one is called abalone shell and it is just bling it is really something else <clears throat> always brings a bit of brightness which is so nice. I really like this bling. Bling it. All right. And we're going to do this double cell activator again. Just a drop. And again, this one is sap green. Right. I'm gonna do just a spot more. Yeah. 
All right, and here we go. And once again, we'll come from up high, bring it in, catch it right on that bullseye. Open it up. Okay, and again. All right, and I'm gonna puff again in a couple of the extra dark areas. Gently blow in it. Okay, so um, the cell activator, I don't know if you can see this, but it has a real stretchy consistency as it drips off the stick. You really want to see that stretch. So once you blow it over your colors, it has to come back. So you can notice how the leaves have really changed. So we're letting that happen in the flowers for just a moment. We don't want to rush that too, too much. Letting it do its thing. All right, and then I'm going to give it a spin. So as I'm looking at these flowers, this one seems to be going up and this one seems to be going down or vice versa, but I think I like it this way. This is my bottom and this is my top. All right, so I'm going to start with my flowers and I have my skewer. I use the flat end on the big spot here and uh, we make our, our petals. I like the center of the flower to um, be the center, this, the light color to be the center. And I'm going to drag from the side and bring it in. And again, I'm going to do the same. All right. Now for this one. Do a little accent. I'm using a, a stylus embossing tool. A little accent on the flowers. And even do the sides. Now we can play with our leaves.
All right. That looks sweet. A little bubble there. I'll push that right down. Okay. Now I think it needs some doodad flowers. <clears throat> and I use this type of skewer and I'm gonna use the flat end and I dip it in the paint. Okay, I'm gonna clean that off. Now, I think that doodad flowers need leaves. So, I'm gonna give. All right, now I'm gonna take the same skewer and I'm gonna take my yellow paint and I'm gonna just dip it in the yellow paint. And I'll start here and we're just gonna drag it through. We connect them. Again, I'm dipping in the paint. And I'm dragging through. And I like to accent them. Give them just a little extra. And there we go. And she's done. She looks lovely. You have make sure you always give your painting a torch. going on with my torch but it's making funny noises but there she is and I think she came out lovely let me bring you down so you can see her I think it came out really sweet the detail in the leaves and the flowers came out great and the doodads I think it came out sweet. Let me know what you think. And sometimes you can create magic twice. All right, let me know. Thank you. Bye now.